Hi again. Today I want to talk about using Wine with Linux. Um, so yeah, some of you don't know what Wine is. Uh, and I'm not talking about alcohol. I'm talking about uh, Wine software layer. Um, let me make a brief introduction to what Wine is. Just for those of you who don't know yet. Um, Wine is something, to simply put it, that allows you to run Windows programs directly in Linux uh, without virtualization, without any sort of emulation. You can also install it on macOS, on BSD, and probably everything that is compatible with POS 6. But I will focus on uh, Wine with Ubuntu Linux today. And the reason I want to talk about this is because when I was showing the way I'm using Wine on my Ubuntu Linux to some of my friends and people I know, uh, they were quite surprised. And eventually I came up with an idea that I should share something about my uh, way of using it on Ubuntu Linux and see if um, there are many other people who figure the same thing about it or if I can maybe inspire somebody but of course if you if you have any sort of critique uh, that is welcome as well um, those who are Linux users they either use wine for mostly for playing games they use wine for playing Windows games on Linux right? a lot of Linux users download it and install it in order to run Windows programs. It is also very popular for software makers In it turns out that some of the software that you um, can install on your Linux that you would think is a native Linux software in reality actually is a Windows software that was bundled together with parts of Wine in one um, package just only the installer of it and some interface that is being created over it hides that fact from the end user. One of the very popular uh, applications that does come for Linux and actually apparently uses Wine underneath is Team Viewer. Wine is a really special type of edge for programmers like myself. The way I take advantage of Wine under my Ubuntu Linux I actually work and do my private stuff, everything inside of Ubuntu Linux without really going to Windows that much, almost not at all, yet I'm able to write native Windows software for Windows. I'm able to write it, to compile it, and even run it. Everything inside of my Ubuntu without using any virtual machine and without using any sort of emulation, just directly. Um, I will show you this example here now. 